Hello guys, I'm Ben, back again for episode 33, I think, of your bucket tutorials. And today we're finally going to be doing grief protection. This is very simple grief protection without regions. Um, but we're going to move this on using the knowledge we got from defining areas with like cubes and stuff. And through this, to then making a proper grief protection plugin later on in the series. But for now, all you want to do is you want to make this uh, this package I made a new plugin called Protection Plugin, added the jars in, um, and then you know right click them, build path, add to build path. Um, so I just made a, pl a class called Protection Plugin and a class called Protection Plugin Listener. Now you probably already have these classes from the old ones. Just set it up. You don't need an on disable, but you can if you want. Um, now in here we're just gonna um, make a variable of plugin so I never really ex explain what the constructor is as soon as this class gets created it runs this now because we have this protection plugin we have this object but this object doesn't actually equal anything so because in here this equals com this instance completely equals this class we're gonna set this plugin completely equal to this class so this plugin can now be used to access here without getting any null pointer exceptions which means that something equals null where it shouldn't. So you just want to add an event handler which is the player interact event, an event handler which is the block break event. Now what I have done here is this send message. Now I do this because if I want to add a little starter to a message like what I've done here is a little uh, bracket which is in dark grey then protection plugin in gold then dark grey closed and then the message. So all you have to do is put the player and then the message in the parentheses and you get the starter at the start of your message without even having to type it in hundreds of times. So again, you don't have to do this. This is just something I've done for aesthetics quickly. Anyway, so in here, what we want to do is add something called an array list. Now, what an array list is, is sort of like a hash map, um, but you can look through it to an extent. So what we want to do is make this public final array list and then in square brackets put location and then we're going to put in here uh, blocks equals new array list and then in brackets location and then finish it off like that let's import everything so this is where we're going to store the blocks that are protected and it's going to be a location and not a block because the location will be more uh, precise for the block um, it might not it, it's it's more likely to bug uh, we could say so the way we're actually gonna have to um, register this so if we do get this is a way of doing it as well just get server dot get plugin manager dot um, register events a new protection plugin listener this and this so that's just a way of doing it without having to make the um the variables beforehand it's just a bit more messy hopefully you can see what that does so instead of making plugin manager an actual uh, reference we just add on to it so forth um, so yes anyway in our interact player interact event uh, what we're going to want to do is to work out if a player right clicks on a block with like a bone or something um, then it's going to protect that block so um, Let's actually put a big try and catch statement around this because what we're going to be doing is um, something that's going to spring up some errors, but it won't actually affect what's going on in the game. So we're just going to hide those errors. So if event dot get player dot get item in hand uh, equals right. So here we're going to do an item stack. And because it's in the hand and it's an item, um, we want to use an item stack because, again, it's less likely to spring up errors. So we do new item stack material 
dot uh, bone. Yeah, we'll do bone. Okay, so and actually and event dot get action. Now we want to make it so if they right click, so if the action equals action dot right click a block, not air, because if they right click air, we don't want anything to happen. To control shift F to do that and if uh, plugin oh spell that wrong dot blocks dot contains event dot get clicked oh block dot get low Oh, I can't type today. It, 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 is, it is like one o'clock. I only just got up. My voice might be a bit like this. Um. So anyway, that means uh, you put an exclamation mark at the front, so it inverts this whole thing. So if the um, if this uh, doesn't contain the block that we're clicking on, then let's send a message. So send message. That's why I made this th that um method. And also why someone was complaining at me ages ago. This was for doing a tutorial on uh, methods. So I was like. Well, you need it, <laughs> and this is a. So anyway, yeah, block protected. Like that. Um, and then do event dot set cancelled, true. So when if we're like right clicking on a chest or something, it's not going to open the chest. So. Yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna send a message to the player that the block has already been protected um, because if it does contain if this thing does contain the block we're clicking on so it's already been added um, actually we need to actually form a do we've got to do plugin dot blocks dot add event dot get clicked block dot get location uh, that just adds it into there adds into this so we know it's now protected so we're going to send the player a message saying uh, that block has already been protected which seems quite logical because the block is already been protected and again we'll just do event dot set cancelled true because that we don't want them to open the chest so now otherwise um if uh so this is saying if um if the event, if the item in hand isn't a bone or uh they haven't right clicked the block actually wait a second there we go yeah okay right so so if they're just like left clicking on a chest or something or that they're, they're clicking on a block which um you know they're just clicking around on blocks to see which ones are protected so if um the oh, plugin dot block so if the block they've clicked on um uh, contains event dot get if the block they've clicked on is is inside the blocks um array list that we created then we're just going to send the player a message uh, saying, well, we'll send it to the player. Um, that block is protected, so like you can't destroy that block. Go, go, and then event dot set cancelled true, so they can't open whatever they were going to do. Um, so that's it for the player interact. Now for the block break. Uh, do we have time? Yeah, we have time. Um, so if the plugin dot blocks dot contains event dot get uh, block dot dot get lo location. So basically, what that's doing is it's checking to see if the array list in this class. Um, contains 
uh, the block that they're breaking. So if you see we right clicked on it, it's going to add it into here. Now if we try and break that block, it's going to check to see if if this if that block is in here, and if it is, then we're going to do actually let's copy this here. And then just do event dot set cancelled true like that, and that is it um for simple grief protection without use of regions. So let's do go into our plugin dot yml. Ignore the config dot yml. That's something I was testing. Which delete it. <clears throat> I was just testing some stuff. And uh, was opens. Oh, here we go. So we just add this stuff in here. We don't need any commands because we haven't had any. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So, export this, and I'll be right back with you in the game. All right, so we're back. Um, so let's actually get down. Oh, oh. Okay, so. Turn down those fapping sounds. So anyway, um, say we we right click this block. Nothing is going to happen. And the reason for that is, um, odd. Let's check. Ah, oh, something always goes wrong. <laughs> you know, I'll be right back. Well, so, uh, you know, I had six bones in my hand. Because I used item stack, it means you can only do it with one bone. Um, so you can change that to material bone. It's never happened with me before. Um, but anyway, so you see, I can destroy this block here. And then not pick it up. Because my inventory is full. Uh, so if I place it back. And then I right click, it says block protected. And it says that block is protected and I can't destroy it. Um, so if I try and protect it again, it's going to say that block has already been protected. And I can protect things like glass. Let's get a chest. Um, let's place chest. See, I can open it. If I right click, it won't let me like open it. And then if I try and open it after that, it will just say that block is protected. And then if I try and protect it again, it's just going to say the block is already being protected and it won't let me open it. So, say you wanted to make it so, um, you see it says that block is already being protected there. You want to make it so it then, um, removes the protection. So, protection removed. Um, you can do plugin dot blocks dot remove oh, <coughs> oh sorry it's, um wait I think yeah remove event dot get block oh sorry dot no. get clicked block dot get location and export this again. So next finish reload so protect it can't destroy it protect it oh my god protect it again protect it removed we can destroy it. Thanks for watching. Next episode is going to be about custom crafting. I bet you're all excited for that because I've had so many requests since episode like two um, to do that. But you know, I thought I'd do it. Keep on sending me messages. Post in the actually, if you post in the comments, I will read them. But it's just like I'm going to reply to you. If you want to reply, send me a private message. Um, but if you want me to to um. You, st you can still post there to get me to do something and I'll still add it to my list if I think it's worth doing and showing off. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.